Hello again. The Practical Animal Channel is dedicated to the public understanding of the animal industry. I include wildlife conservation in that. Indeed, most of the videos on here concern wildlife. Every week, I interview a guest who works with animals. I ask what motivates him or her to do what they do, often for very little financial reward and sometimes at great personal risk to themselves. Last week I interviewed Dr Karen Lawrence of the Johannesburg Wildlife Veterinary Hospital. This week we stay with veterinary medicine as the theme, but we go to the other side of the world, to Brazil. I speak to Dr. Flavia Serra Shiniki, a vet from Western Brazil. She works with family pets, dogs and cats, and is a specialist in ultrasound scanning and radiology. When asked what motivates her, she replied it's the desire to do the best for her patients. One does not become a vet for the money. It's interesting that when you study veterinary medicine, you need very quickly to consider which area of veterinary practice you're going to go into. There are three things to think about. Are you going to work with dogs and cats? Or are you going to work with farm animals? Or are you going to work with wildlife? I be began by asking Flavia how she became a vet. Um, since I was little, uh, I always do that, want to do that, and it was my passion, and that become my work. We have some stress, like get the best feedback. Vets think in terms of specializing in uh, farm animal practice or companion animal practice or working with wildlife. What did you choose? Uh, small animals, and I do ultrasound and rex ray, only that. What made you specialize in those three areas, pet animals, dogs and cats, and the ultrasound and x-ray treatment of them? I don't like uh, uh, big animals, uh, farm animals. And in Brazil? What yeah. does a person have to do to become a vet? So you have five years of university and at the end you choose your area and you have to choose what you want. Most people think of a vet and they think of a vet in clinical practice probably. You've also mentioned those two areas being a, a salesperson and being a meat inspector in an abattoir. What other areas can vets go into if they don't want to be a clinician, Flavia? Um, can go to be a teacher, inspection, yes. Mm -hmm. Inspection of our, our of a lot of things. Me, you, okay. um, even uh, inspection of the vets. The vets council, yes. Here yes. in Britain, we call it the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. Do many vets become inspectors of vets? No, no, no. Uh, uh, we don't like the, this part. You mentioned another area. You mentioned fish. By that you mean fish farming, yes? Yes, fish farming, fish sales. So an inspector that goes around fish markets? Yes, yes. Uh, at the college, we went to, to Rio to see that. Oh, really? 
you did a visit yeah. to a, a fish market. Yes. What was that like? Uh, it's smelly. <laughs> <laughs> in Brazil, is there more income possibility, more money to be made with farm animals or pet animals or wildlife? There is a big, big, big area for horses and you earn a lot if you are a specialist. Um, for farm animals, there is my cousin, he is a pet too. So he, she works in the farm animals and she do ultrasound too. It's like, it's different, it's for pregnancy. And she's doing very well, she's loving it and she's earning good. Love you. How would you describe the veterinary profession in Brazil today? I uh, people working mostly in farm animals or with pets or with wildlife? Or are there fewer and fewer people going to vet school or is it increasing? What's the situation today? Um, I think it's more pet animals. I work at every, every time. I didn't stop in a time. I work every day. I was at the street. The streets were empty, empty. Um, every day was Sunday. There's no one in the street. It was very weird, but I didn't stop. So in Brazil, I think it's pets. Yes, it's a big market. Uh, even in the part of uh, sales, things, uh, food, tricks. What about over the next uh, 10 years, Flavia? How do you see the veterinary profession changing? Uh, it's a dream, but I think it will happen. Uh, it's changed a lot between these years, but... I see that more respected, respected. We're getting better even here. You're, uh, we are doing more surgeries. It's look like human surgeries, uh, all the, the aspects. We're getting professionalizing more and do the things that we even imagine, like heart surgery like um about the kidneys you can put you catheters just, in your ureters. yes i think in 10 years we you'll do be, be, be uh, even better much better flavia what books or people or meetings have most influenced your thinking about your profession i think it's the the dogs the dog and cat who uh, inspire me to do the best. Only this. To, you you to don't do like wrong. to make mistakes. No, no, no mistakes. I, I don't want to meet that. Because my mistake can be their death. Mm. Mm. So it's not, it's not for me. Mm. I know when I'm perfect, I do have mistakes. But... That's why my inspirations are them. I just don't want to do my job properly. Flavia, what advice can you give somebody wanting to become a vet? It's hard to become a vet. And you don't have the respect yet. Some people just don't, don't consider if you act as a doctor. Some people say dogs are just a uh, toy mm. and it's harder. Mm. And if you really want to be a vet, you want, you have to know all their areas. You have to do a, a, a lot of everything. So you can say, no, I want to do this. I want to do that because it's a big area and you don't, don't work if, uh, okay, I become a doctor, a vet doctor, so I will be rich. Just get in the college and just work. No, I have to do more.
you have to work a lot to have, don't have and the beginning you don't have social life you forget that so if you want to do that okay but knowing that's not gonna be easy and you have to work you don't and you can let it go when you say you're doing a post-graduation do you mean you're doing a postgraduate degree i did some courses in ultrasound uh, isolated just to to improve the technique and now i'm doing another in cardiology canine cardiology yes i want to do the the exam echocardiogram so you've already one. got a postgraduate degree yes for ultrasound, yes, for diagnostic for imaging, imaging diagnostic, yes. I have already. It was two years, and I'm in the second. Maybe I will do the, the third, I don't know if I have money for this, because it's very expensive. Mm. And it's not here, it's in Sao Paulo. Mm. So I had to travel there. And the first was every month. In this one, the actual one, I have online classes, so it's, it's better. Mm. Now, for people who don't know, Brazil is continental in size. It's a huge country. You said you had to travel to Sao Paulo to study. Yes. What does that mean? Where are you in relation to Sao Paulo? Um, I'm Mato Grosso. It's in the center of Brazil. And uh, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro is the the big states, it's the most big states in Brazil. It's the principal. Um, São Paulo is a, a big, big, a huge city. Uh, I can say in São Paulo uh, have more professors, professionals. It's a little more. Avançado than here. Advanced. Advanced than here. And here um, is Cuiabá, Cuiabá, in Mato Grosso Cuiabá. State. Yes, it's the capital of Mato Grosso, but we are still... Um, A provincial city. What's the situation with wildlife in veterinary medicine in Brazil? Is it an area that is largely ignored because there's not much money in it, or is it getting better, or what? Uh, you don't have much wild animals. I don't know. Have the animals of Pantanal? Uh, you can do money from them. Flavia, is there anything you'd like to add? We had to do many things for the poor people who want to have a dog and don't have so much money for that. I have so much things to do just in the medical area, in the social area. And for this, if, if you want to be a vet, okay, go through it. But go have a passion for, not, don't, don't do it for money, do for passion, for passion. And you'll do better. Okay, money is necessary. I know that, but can do both. Flavia Sahashiniki, thank you very much for being on the Practical Animal channel. Thank you for inviting me.